guys, Anthony David is name aka Chidav, and today I am going to be talking about how you are able to tell yam that has broken dormancy because most of the time I tell people make sure you cultivate a yam that has broken dormancy, and most of them are like, What is dormancy? What, why should we plant a yam that has broken dormancy? So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you yams that have broken dormancy and why you have to plant yams that have broken dormancy all right so stay tuned welcome back guys so in yam planting you need to understand for planting of yam there is what we refer to as timing okay once you miss the timing for planting then you might not be able to like catch up on time if you plant a certain type of yam and that is why when we say uh, cultivate a certain type of yam at a, a certain time a, a point in time we want you to cultivate so that your yam can as well catch up with the ones that are that have been planted long before the rain commenced you know most of the time you see people cultivating yam say in february january some even cultivate in december you see they much the they much the yam sack or they much the hip of the yam so the reason for doing this is they want to cultivate it as early as possible and then allow the yam to go through the process of dormancy breaking you understand so on or before once the first rain falls probably in february or in march then you see the yam will start picking up from that point and then when the rain come again in, in March and before the end of March, April, you see the yam would have started sprouting. If you are cultivating based on, on rain, then the timing has to be perfect, okay? The timing has to be perfect. So when you see these people who haven't cultivated, they've, they've done prepare their heaps from January, February and then in March they've already planted and then waiting for the rims to come and then you, you want to plant, you, let's say you want to do lithium planting in May and you also want to cultivate the same type of yam they cultivated long, long time ago, maybe two, three months ago then you want to cultivate the same kind of yam then you might not be able to get a good harvest at the end of the once the rain stop so that is why when you want to cultivate late yam cultivation sometime in may or early june all you need to ensure is you ensure you cultivate yams that have broken dormancy so how do you tell yam that have broken dormancy that is what i'm really going to be showing you in this video and then the reasons why you have to cultivate a yam that have broken dormancy okay so i need you to stay tuned don't be in a haste to go anywhere because this this information is going to be super super impactful all right stay tuned so how then do you tell a yam that has broken dormancy that is a big question you are definitely pondering on the inside of you right so this is a tuber of yam and now how do i tell it has broken dormancy you tell if a yam has broken dormancy when it starts to emerge when it starts to emerge definitely you know that this yam is ready for cultivation so that means this yam right now is ready for cultivation and if i cultivate this it's not going to take time maybe within a week then it's already emerging so then that is why we always say cultivating yam that has broken dormancy during during the late planting season if you do not have provision for irrigation okay if you want to use the rain water then you must cultivate a yam that has started sprouting okay that has started sprouting so this simply means that this yam has broken dormancy and if you plant it it's not going to waste time in the soil it starts growing immediately so now when you want to cultivate during maybe before the emergence of rain or before the commencement of rain then you can plant a yam that is yet to break dormancy okay so it is still going to catch up because the dormancy period takes uh, between um, two to three months okay then is that is between 30 to 90 days then it's going to break dormancy so if you have cultivated in january or in february then you know that before the month of april when the rains are stable then your yam 
would have emerged and by then it starts growing from that point so guys people who cultivated early are people who are going to be harvesting early so if you are planting in may so just be expecting your harvesting time to be between november december that is when you are going to be harvested so if you had cultivated early enough say you cultivated in january february then you know that between august october then you will be having your harvest those that is your expected period of harvest okay so and that is why they say early to bed early to rise so the earlier you start cultivating the earlier you get to start harvesting also so that is it you, you you can't cheat nature you can't cheat nature so what you give is what you get all right so that is it i i just needed to explain this to you so that when you are making use of the rain to cultivate in may you are not going to plant a yam that is yet to break dormancy and then the yam is still going to stay for like maybe a month or there about before it starts emerging and then imagine if it stays like a month or two and then you cultivate it in may june july then it starts emerging in july so you know it's not going to have enough rain okay enough rain duration for it to fully grow into a cute tuber and at the end of the day you ain't going to get something worthwhile so that is why you have to ensure you cultivate the right yam and that is why we at Chilava Agricultural Hub is definitely going to help you to ensure you are doing it the right way all right guys peace so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel Chilava Agricultural Hub I need to do it right now smash on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell and do well to click on other videos that are going to be appearing on the screen after i'm done talking actually then to go watch other amazing content from chidav agricultural hub guys peace